What's good guys, I'm John the Chief, and for this video, we're going to be talking about the new legendaries within Fallout 76 Steel Dawn expansion, and how to exactly get the new legendary versions of them, which is the most important part, which is what everybody really wants to know, because everybody wants to play with the, the new toys that they get from this DLC. So, first off, these all come in plans, you have to earn these plans first how do you do that well you get them as a rare drop from the daily ops but because they're rare reward you can only earn them once per day and it resets at 7 a.m hawaiian standard time or 9 a.m pacific standard time but these plans only have a three percent drop rate so it is going to take a long time in order to actually get all the pieces of the brotherhood recon armor hellfire missile launcher plasma cutter crusader pistol all of these drop in the same manner from the daily ops rewards once you learn it they can only be earned as a direct reward only for the legendary version when you try to craft these after you learn the plan you are gonna get a standard version with no legendary effect which is kind of unfortunate it's not gonna be like the gauze minigun and gauze shotgun which when you craft them you use legendary modules and you will guarantee a legendary version of that weapon no these are a lot harder. They are the same way as the Fixer and the Sheep Squatch Staff where you have to earn it as a direct reward. This makes it incredibly rare in order to get these in a legendary version. And in addition to the actual way you have to earn the plan has caused a lot of uproar within the community which led to some frustration for yours truly also. It's like saying that in order to get the new weapons, you have to do the encrypted event and have that small chance of getting the fixer plan. And then after that, you have to actually go in and get the reward separately. It's like the frustration with the fixer and how we had to get it legendary, which is one of the things that a lot of the community was a little bit annoyed with because of how hard it is to get a perfect fixer. Because at that time, the only way you can get a legendary fixer was from the purveyor. Now there's a few more means in order to get a lot of these legendaries and also since it includes armor there's extra ways to get these legendary versions for the Brotherhood Recon Armor. So you can actually get them easily from the daily ops and purveyor. You just need an insane amount of luck in real life, not in the game. It is just incredibly hard in order to get these brand new weapons and armors from the daily ops and the purveyor. It took a ton of rolls in order to get it, and I can imagine how annoying it's going to be in order to actually get these in the perfect 3-star variant that you want, such as maybe a bloodied swing speed plasma cutter, or you really want a 2-shot fire rate hellfire missile launcher. It's going to be really hard to get these, and if you're trying to go for unyielding sentinels or unyielding cavalier build for these Brotherhood Recon armor pieces, it's going to take forever in order to actually get these i was fortunate enough where my very first brotherhood recon armor that dropped legendary was actually unyielding but it only gave like a weight reduction for its third effect so it's not exactly why i wanted but i can't really complain too much because i at least got unyielding in addition to these two methods you can earn them from dailies and events but i don't believe you can actually earn a three star weapon from any dailies or events currently you can get three star armors depending on what event you do scorched earth does give a three star armor as a reward for completing it so you do have a chance of getting the brotherhood recon armor legendary during that event but other than that there's really no ways to farm these legendaries a lot of it is stuck behind daily capstones for the purveyor because you need legendary script and then daily ops which you only can really get a lot of good rewards once a day you can farm it repeatedly to get that one legendary drop every single time you finish it but the amount of ammo that you're going to be consuming in addition to having to repair armors and the time it takes and the few rewards that you will get from repeating that daily op is gonna be a little bit annoying and probably not worth it in the end it's gonna be really painstakingly long so it's a little bit frustrating with that but 
In addition, these new legendary weapons cannot be dropped and that means that you cannot trade them or transfer it to your friends. So I recommend if you do get one of these plans for these weapons and it's not compatible with the build on the character that you have, don't even bother learning it because all it does is take away a potential legendary drop from your loot pool that could have been something that you want. Like suppose that you do not use melee weapons at all but you do use explosives and pistols. There's no reason to learn the plasma cutter plan just because it is going to take a chance from earning the other rewards that you would rather have such as a fixer or a crusader pistol or a hellfire missile launcher when you complete daily ops and you turn in things to events, purveyor, dailies, etc. So that's why I recommend. It's a little bit hard out here to get the new legendary versions, but I'm trying to really get some nice god rolls to show you guys. Anyways, hope all of you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed it, and have a good day.